Hey, Tim, what's going on? Hey, Bob, how's it going, man? Good, man, I haven't seen you in a really long time. I know, man, how's school going? Not good, man, I think after all these years I've had dyslexia. Really, what do you mean, like, you get your numbers and letters mixed up? No, you nincompoop, dyslexia is so much more than that, aren't you wanting to be a teacher? Yes, why'd you hit me? Because you should know these things. Okay, you're right. Enlighten me. What is dyslexia then? It's a neurological learning disability that causes problems with word recognition, spelling, reading fluency, decoding abilities, and reading comprehension. Oh my. That encompasses a lot more than what I originally thought. What are some signs and symptoms of it? Not being able to sound out words or understand what they mean underdeveloped grammar, not comprehending what was just read, struggles with writing, and many other things. This sounds like it could really affect some student's success. Is there a cure for it? I don't really know how people deal with it. Currently, there is no cure for it, but people still deal with it. There's been plenty of successful people who've had dyslexia, including Thomas Edison, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and even the great Albert Einstein. Wow, I had no clue. Einstein was a genius. So what causes dyslexia then? Well, interestingly enough, our brains were never truly meant to learn how to read. Everyone's brain must recreate new circuits within itself to be able to read fluently. Are you being serious? Yes, so with people who have dyslexia, the right side of their brain is trying to do most of the work and create these circuits, when this is the job of the left brain. So this is going to cause the information to take longer to reach both sides of the brain and connect. This delay and lack of connection is actually what causes dyslexia. This brain stuff is making my head hurt more than it already is. Is there anything schools are doing to help detect students that might have dyslexia? Yes, schools are actually doing quite a bit. Schools usually have all students test for dyslexia at the beginning of the year. They also have professional training for teachers on how to identify it and how to teach and accommodate for it. Wait, accommodate for it? How can teachers do that? There's many things teachers can do. They can give directions both verbally and multiple times over. They can use visual prompts to help guide students. They can also use text-to-speech software and allow students to demonstrate what they've learned verbally. Wow, that's a lot. Teachers are really helping set students up for success, but do teachers teach on how to deal with dyslexia? Yes, teachers do. Early on, teachers should be teaching phonological awareness, which is units of sound and spoken word and how students can actually alter those sounds. Teaching this helps develop word proficiency. They should also teach on how certain letters and sounds connect, how to read fluently, how to understand vocabulary words, and most importantly, how to put all those things together to comprehend a text. That sounds like a lot. Teachers have to be organized on how they present that information, right? You're exactly right. Teachers should teach this content in sequence so students can build on their own knowledge. They should also guide students on all these concepts and then slowly back off and let the students do it themselves to increase understanding. One of the most important things a teacher can do is to keep their lessons data-driven so they can understand where their students need help and where they're succeeding. That's great. I'm glad to see teachers are training these kids on how to deal with dyslexia and creating top-notch plans to get the most effective results. That's what I hope to do one day. Exactly. And with time, strategies and research on dyslexia will only get better. Well, thank you for teaching me about all that. Hey, no problem, man. Take all that information with you into the classroom. I for sure will. I'm going to go home and ice my head. I think I have a minor concussion.